Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Yo, it's me, Nagato, and welcome back to the channel. For today, we're going to be jumping back into the Vita scene and taking a look at a plugin called PS1 Squat, which enables you to take high quality PlayStation 1 screenshots on your PlayStation Vita or your PS TV. So, for example, if you wanted to post some HD images of your favorite PS1 game on social media, or if you wanted to post some screen images for creating like YouTube thumbnails or for video purposes, you could use this plugin to do just that. Right now on the screen, here are some sample screenshots that I took on with this plugin so you can see how the quality looks so you probably see crash bandicoot once i edit this out um ridge racer i took some screenshots from that and dance dance revolution but if you also want to see how the quality looks for yourself there will be a google drive link in the link in the description down below as well as a pinned comment and they will have the actual dot pngs so you can see for yourself but all of that being out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on all the additional information and disclaimer so everyone is on the same page and then we're going to get started on the actual tutorial for this process so first things first you need a modded playstation vita or a ps tv that's already hacked in some shape or form so whether if you're using the trinity exploit hankaku h on core h on core 2 i'll be using my 3.60 ps vita 2000 that is on um hankaku enzo but Regardless, as long as your system could run on signed code, then you're good to go. Another thing that you'll need for today's video is Vita Shell 2.2. You also need to have a working Wi-Fi connection, FileZilla FTP client or WinSCP if you're going to be transferring files over, or you could be using a USB charging cable if you want to transfer um, auto plugin to, which you'll need for today. Um, the latest version as I'm recording this video um, is version 1.25, I believe, and the actual plugin that we'll need to do all the work for today is called ps1 squat which is you know the plugin that i just state that allows you to take clear hd screenshots for ps1 games and then you'll need any playstation 1 title it doesn't matter what region it is but it has to be an eboo.pb format on your PlayStation Vita device. If you guys don't know how to set up PlayStation 1 games on your PS Vita, I will have a card right here showcasing that. But with all of that getting out the way, let's go ahead onto the PC as well as the PlayStation Vita to get everything set up. Alrighty, so as of right now, you should be back on your PlayStation Vita or your PS TV. I'm already assuming that you already have everything that is stated in the prerequisites, but what we're going to do first is go ahead and launch into Vita Shell so we can download Auto Plugin too. No, if you already have Auto Plugin on your device, you could definitely skip this step, but I'm just showcasing the full process for, you know, this whole tutorial. So right now, let's just go into Vita Shell, go into Start. One thing, if you're going to be transferring with a USB cable, go ahead and plug in your USB charging cable port from your Vita to your PC. But in this case, I'll be using FTP methods, so I'm going to be using FileZilla to transfer my files over. So right now, what I'm going to do is hit start. If you're going to be transferring over with a USB, go ahead and select to USB mode. But if you're doing what I'm doing, go ahead and select to FTP. Then once you have that selected, hit circle on your Vita device and then hit select on your device and it should pop up your IP address. And then what you wanna do is leave the FTP server running on now. And we're gonna to go to our uh, PC to download auto plugin to the latest version, which as I'm recording is 1.25 and then get that transferred over to our Vita. So I'll meet you guys just for that process. Alrighty, so as of right now, we're back onto the PC. What we're gonna do is download the latest version of Auto Plugin 2. So if you're using an older version or you just don't have it at all, we will be on the same page to getting this set up. So right now, let's open up our web browser. You can use Internet Edge, Firefox, Google Chrome. It really doesn't matter. In this case, I will have this link in the link in the description down below as well as in a pinned comment. But what we're gonna do is download the latest version of Auto Plugin. So right now, I am downloading that. Um, right here, this is, I already had it downloaded, so that's why I gave that little one right there. But right now, what we're going to do is transfer auto plugin to, to our PS Vita. So whether if you're going to be using the USB method, go ahead and follow along with that. If you know how to do it, or if you're going to be doing it like me, you can open up any, um, FTP transfer uh, software. So I'll be using FileZilla. If you want to use one SAP, that's totally fine. But what we need to do is go ahead and type in our PlayStation Vita's IP address. So in my case, here's mine 
and you're going to type your IP address. Yours will be different, but you'll type it in the host section and then your port. All our ports will be the same, which is 1337. Go ahead and hit quick connect. And if everything works, you should see all your file directories on the PS Vita. The one what we're going to focus on, you could just drag it from UX0 and then it should be transferring over. Um, it's only, I guess, like five megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. But once it's fully uh, done transferring over, we're gonna go to our PlayStation Vita, install this um, actual VPK, and then we're gonna go and get the actual plugin installed, and then we're gonna test that our games are going to, you know, basically get screenshotted. So right now it's fully done. You can see it has successfully transferred over in FileZilla. What we're gonna go to now is back on a PS Vita, get this plugin, installed and then we're gonna get our games ready so I'll meet you guys for that all right so as of right now we're back on to our Vita let's go ahead and turn off our FTP server so let's just hit circle on our device next what we need to do is scroll down on our d-pad and the UX0 folder so just to back up make sure you're in the UX0 scroll all the way down until you see the latest version of auto plugin so you can see here um, it should be 9.60 megabytes if you're downloading the correct version so right now I'm just going to go ahead and install it. It's going to say, do you want to install this package? Just go ahead and hit yes. And then once you're fully done with that, go ahead and hit X again. If you get this precautionary um, error message and then once it installs, it should pop onto your um, XMB or excuse me, I'm thinking of PS3 to your live area. So right now it's doing its thing. And once it's fully done, we're gonna find the actual plugin itself, and then it's gonna allow us to reset our, or, or excuse me, reset our PlayStation Vita, and then we're gonna launch into the game itself. So just waiting for it to do its thing. All right, so now it's speeding up. Hopefully it'll be done. If it takes a little too long, cause sometimes installing VBKs has its little issues. I will be definitely um, cutting the video, but it seems like it's moving along pretty fast. All right, so it's at 99%. Hopefully it does it now or I'll probably have to cut. All right, so now it's done. All we have to do is hit home on our Vita. We can close out the Vita Shell app or you could just leave it on the screen. Now I have to go and find the auto plugin to app. I know um, with my current system, I have everything in bubbles and I already had auto plugin two here. So that's where it's at. Just go ahead and launch an auto plugin two. You can see that we're on the latest version, which is 1.25. Go ahead and hit start, hit okay. Then what we're gonna do now is wait for it to launch it to its main menu. We're gonna go into Vita plugins install plugins and we're going to scroll down to where it says ps1 scrot so let me see you can see here you can see whatever plugins i have on the right hand corner it will have like a little green icon and basically this is the one that we're focusing on today so right at the bottom you can see there is a little ticker it's just explaining what this plugin does it's so simple to basically on how to install it all we have to do is just hit x and then it'll say the plugin has been installed. And then what you wanna do once it installs is hit start. And then you'll have a message saying that your PS Vita will reset. Now, what we're gonna do is just hit X from here. Right now on um, my PS Vita will be resetting, but once it's fully turned back on, we'll get ready to get started on you know launching our game getting our screenshots and then i'm going to show you guys on where to find your playstation 1 screenshots and how to basically transfer them back onto your pc or wherever directory you want on your vita so i'll meet you guys for that process all right so as showcased here my playstation vita has successfully resetted so what we're going to do now is go and check that our plugins have successfully downloaded into the right folder directory in ur0 so what we're going to do first before we touch any playstation 1 game is go into vita shell so let's launch vita shell and let's go and see so right now if you're on your vita let's go back into where you see all your folder directories or file directories i should say we're going to go into ur0 we're going to go into the folder directory called tai or tai go ahead and hit x within that then from there we're going to check our config.txt just to make sure ps1 squad xkpx is there so on line 12 for me that's where mines is at yours may be on a different line in the txt file that is totally fine as long as you see the actual plugin here in the config that means it's going to boot up at your start 
then what we're going to do is check if the actual xkprx has downloaded in the Thai folder and as you can see here it has been downloaded and it's 4.04 kilobytes so right where we're going to do now is go ahead and exit out by hitting home on vita shell and we're going to check any playstation one title of our choice so right now i'll be using um we could just use tekken that's one of my favorite playstation one games and just launch it and then once um your game has launched up i'm gonna show you guys on how to actually take um a plugin screenshot so right now i'm just waiting for it to do its thing so you can see here the game is launching uh totally fine you can actually take a screenshot once the game has started at boot so if you want to take a picture of the logo you can um but right now let me just hit here let me press the start i'm going to go ahead and take a picture of the actual like fighting menu of tekken so just waiting for it here let me get into the arcade screen so rk mode so let's say if i wanted to take a picture of law which he looking brazy right now but what we're going to do is go ahead and hit the home button right here um hit settings and then you should see the screenshot ability so once you have the screenshot ability you can save it to your memory card you can go ahead and hit yes and then once that does that it will save into the ux0 picture um file directory and i'll show you guys on how to get that as well so let's say you are you know you're playing the game you, you're done taking pictures what we could do is back out and you know i'm using adrenaline so you could just back out from your ps1 game we could go into vita shell go right here we're gonna go into the ux0 folder so let me go ahead and back out from here ux0 we're gonna go into picture we're gonna go into all and if it should be the first picture on here you could tell by the date so right now it's 523 and if i'm in the bb folder right here you can see the um actual image of the game itself is here so let me scroll down here in the list itself if i actually go into i guess screenshot actually it may be here or temp so let me go to all i can't actually find where is the actual uh teching game right now but it will be in the picture all directory so you can see here these are just some games i taken um like that was jumping flash 2 this was spyro but it will be saved under the picture all bh directory what i'll do now is probably just cut the screen see if i could find the actual tekken photo itself and then i'll showcase you know how to basically extract this to your pc Alrighty, for some reason it's saved under this EC folder right here, but this is just a Tekken photo we just took um, from this video. Let's say, you know, I want to put this on my PC just for, you know, to have for backup purposes or whatever. What we can do is actually hit start once again. Um, you could transfer this by using the USB method, but since I'm going to be using the FTP method, I'm going to hit select. And now within FileZilla FTP client, what I can do is type in my IP address along with the port and and then what we're going to do is transfer the photo from that directory. So right now I'll go back into FileZilla and then, you know, show you guys on how to get your pictures off your Vita in that manner. So I'll meet you guys for that. Alrighty, so as of right now, we're back onto the PC once again. I already have FileZilla FTP open. Make sure you, you know, in your host, you type in your Vita's IP address and then you go ahead and type in port. I'm just going to go ahead and quick connect. Um, what we're going to do is go into UX0, we're going to go into the picture folder, um, we're going to go to all, and then I'm going to find where I actually had it. The easier way you could do this, if you have older, or excuse me, older pictures, you could check where it says last modified, but in my case, um, EC, this is where the Tekken picture is at, so if I drag that here, um, you'll see that Tekken will pop up on my screen. So right now, I'm loading up uh, Adobe Photoshop 2020. And you'll see that, you know, the Tekken photo is here. So let's say if I wanted to do some edits, crop it out or whatever, this is how you could take high quality um, HD PlayStation 1 screenshots off of your Vita. With that being all out the way, my name is Nagato's Revenge. If you have any trouble setting this up, feel free to check our Discord if you need any help with that. Or you could just leave a link in the comment down below, or you could just DM me, DM me on my Twitter. With all of that getting out the way, my name is Nagato's Revenge, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
everyone it's me nagato's revenge here hope you guys did enjoy today's video with that being out the way as well i highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well it's another method on how you will know when i drop my latest content whether it be for the vita ps4 ps3 and such and so forth as well if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you can become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace